For 30 years in Chattanooga. And the surrounding area. I'm C. Mark. I'm John Mark. If you're hurt, call us. 265 Hurt. 265 4878. We are your local law firm. In our area, minimum wage remains at $7.25 an hour. A struggle for the thousands trying to live on that. But some say a change to the minimum wage law may not actually be necessary. The reasons why, today at 4 on Local 3 News. Why does it always seem that Murphy's Law is that you find yourself sick or with an injury when the doctor's office is closed? We've all felt that frustration before, and the doctors at Center for Sports Medicine know that very well, and that is why they have a walk-in clinic. Dr. Jason Robertson joins us. He, of course, is with the Center for Sports Medicine and runs the walk-in clinic there. Nice to see you this morning. Good morning. I guess it's an appropriate time for us to be having this conversation because this time of year, from what I remember, y'all really ramp up uh, pushing that walk-in clinic because the kids are back at their sports practices and those injuries can happen anytime, right? That's right. Summertime is a time of increased activity for adults and kids. So it's a time when we see more injuries, of course, uh, but particularly after dead period, when uh, fall sports pick up for uh, kids, uh, things really ramp up with uh, injuries and the need for uh, orthopedic care. We can tell you very proudly have your own jersey displayed behind you. What was your sport? I played soccer uh, at Lipscomb University and that was kind of my main sport. Uh, we played uh, seasonal sports then as kids, of course, so you kind of played whatever your friends were playing, but yeah. soccer was my favorite. You know what, that's a really good point you bring up about when we were kids, you just played the seasonal sports. And so you kind of did a little bit of everything. And now kids mm -hmm. seem to pick one and become semi-pro at it by the time they're sophomores in high school. That excessive use of certain parts of your body can make you more prone to injury, can't it? That's right. Early specialization can put you more at risk for injury. So uh, playing multiple sports can be helpful because it can give your muscles, your joints a break because you're not doing the exact same repetitive uh, motions uh, over the course of, uh, of the year. Of course, the walk-in clinic is not intended to just be for student athletes. Anybody can access it, correct? That's right. So anyone with an acute injury, you know, we're here if you have a fall and you have an injury or you have a twist a sprain, a, a break, anything that uh, acutely occurs, we're here to help you get through that and figure out what's going on. When you say here, y'all have so many um, branches, satellite offices for Center for Sports Medicine. The walk-in is just at the Macaulay location? Uh, it's our Macaulay location, our North Georgia location, and then also in Cleveland. Okay, so you make it easy for people no matter what part of town they're living in. That's right. We try to be as accessible and available as we possibly can just to help uh, patient get, patients get in when they need it. So, I mean, nobody wants to have to come and see you. So let me ask you this. My husband's a big walker. Uh, he walks about five miles a day and he found that he was getting really tight because he was not doing appropriate stretching after his walk. He was doing it beforehand, but not after. Is there a mm -hmm. preference? Do you know one way or the other when you do that warm up? Well, it's great to warm up. Uh, dynamic stretching is helpful where you're active and your muscles are warm. Uh, the cool down is important too, especially for us older folks uh, where those muscles don't get as pliable as our, our kids and our children. Yeah. So stretching afterwards is helpful too and can be uh, uh, preventative uh, um, as well and, and to keep you from coming to see me. Hours for the walk-in clinic are what? Eight to four, Monday through Friday. Okay. So that way, if you have an acute injury, you don't have a, an appointment with one of your doctors, but you want to rush in to get it seen, then y'all will look at it. And based on what you find, you'll then refer to one of your other physicians. Is that the plan? That's right. Figure out what's kind of going on, you know, order more tests uh, if necessary, um, you know, like MRIs, CT scans, or further x-rays, order physical therapy if needed. We can do you know, medications, time, and sometimes injections and things like that to treat it. Uh, but we help you figure it out and get you on the right path to recovery. All right. And I know we've been focusing a lot on those athletes, but you had mentioned to me before we got on camera about falls uh, in older people. That's definitely acute, right? That's right. And, you know, typically we'll see more falls in, in wintertime when um, pathways are, are darkened and covered with leaves or acorns or whatnot. Um, 
but uh, in, any kind of uh, a fall would necessitate an injury if you're having uh, difficulty weight bearing on a, a lower extremity or if you're having bony tenderness on an upper extremity. Well, thanks so much for your time this morning. I will not tell my husband that you referred to him as we older folks, uh, but I think you were right probably. <laughs> I did say we. I did say we. That was me included. Me too. I'll raise my hand too. Dr. Jason Robertson, thank you so much. Center for Sports Medicine, their main office there on Macaulay Avenue, one of those walk-in clinic locations, as you heard him say, also in North Georgia and in Cleveland. 624-2696 is their main phone number. Sportmed.com is their website. Thanks again. Thank you, Julie. West Yellowknife Trading Post is everything under the sun. Big name brand.